There is concern this morning that Southern California could be hit with a major supermarket strike. Grocery workers contract with the big chains expired at midnight and CBS 2's Kara Finchdom is live in Koreatown with the latest on where negotiations stand this morning. Kara, good morning to you. Good morning, DeMarco. We came to a corner in Koreatown where there happen to be two of these supermarket chains right across the street from each other that are impacted. We're talking about Vons across the street uh, under the same corporate umbrella as Albertsons and also Pavilions, all of those affected. And also, if we pan around, Ralph's. We're talking about both clerks and pharmacists at these stores. And we just spoke with union leaders. They tell us later this week they will be notifying their members at all of these stores about possible strike authorization votes. The union website for thousands of Southland grocery store workers shows a broken hourglass with an alert their contracts expired at midnight. It's exhausting. We're still fighting. We're still here. Union leaders created that Instagram post in the midst of last night's unsuccessful negotiations. Fuck it over! Last week, those employees picketed in Baldwin Hills and Tustin, saying they're essential workers who've remained on the job through the pandemic and want safety and scheduling changes and higher wages. We need like more money to like pay our rent, pay our bills. Ralph's responded to the deadlock with a statement saying in part, while the company made several wage proposals, the union continues to propose very costly items, which impacts our ability to meet customer needs and remain competitive. It also released this chart of hourly rates for the retail sector, showing Ralph's paying an average of $18.90 an hour with additional health care benefits and the overall state average at $18.46. Just a few years ago in 2019, some of the same Southland grocery store workers making similar contract demands voted to authorize a strike, but a compromise was ultimately reached. Back in 2003, Southland grocery workers did strike, and that action, which lasted more than four months, created major inconveniences for shoppers. And DeMarco, back here live, we just heard, uh, we did also reach out to someone with Albertsons for their response to all of this, but have not yet heard back. We'll keep you updated. Again, this very much developing, that contract just expired at midnight.